Hello little artist, I'm Mariana Olson and today we're drawing a balloon dog. Are you ready? Let's do this! Okay, we're gonna need paper, something to color with, I'm using markers and something to draw with. I will use a black marker that you can change for a pencil. Hello little artist, today my daughter Valentina is here with me. Valentina, say hi. Hi! Valentina and I were gonna draw this doggy balloon and we hope you like this lesson. We're gonna start this lesson with a pencil. And the first thing we're gonna do is in the middle of the paper, we're gonna draw a oval shape. So this oval shape is kind of like big and is on the horizontal way, okay? So we're gonna go like this with my... I forgot what horizontal Horizontal is, is this way. Okay, and next we're gonna do one more oval shape. This time it's gonna go kind of like sideways to the left. And it's gonna cross my pencil line. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna go in in my pencil line and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go like this. And then we're gonna erase it technically. We're gonna erase it after, yes. Okay. Yeah, so we're using pencil. So these first two shapes, they're important because they're gonna be the base of our picture. Once that you're happy with your oval shapes, we're going to put the pencil aside and we're going to change to the marker. So the first thing we're going to do is an oval shape here on the front and it's going to be the first leg. And this is going to be a wide oval shape. So I want to start on this corner where my two cross and when I go down, I'm going to go back up and cross the pencil line again and connect with this one. Okay, now we're gonna do another oval shape. It's gonna be half of the size of this one that is gonna come from behind this shape and it's gonna connect with this one. And it's gonna look like this. We're gonna come back here, around and connect, okay? Okay, now we're gonna use this oval shape we have here to do the face. So for the face, I wanna start crossing first here. So I'm gonna go around starting with my oval shape and I'm going in my shape a little and I'm going to stop right here and on the top same I'm going to leave an open space at the end on this one you're crossing on the top part of your oval shape leave an open space okay okay now we're going to do one of the ears I want to use this shape now I'm going to come up and connect here Now let's do a second one. This one is just gonna be half of the size and I'm gonna go up and connect with the first one. Oh, we almost forgot this part that we leave open. So for this last part that we leave open is gonna be kind of like the nose and we're gonna do a C shape that comes out and comes back in. I need it. Good it's job. Perfect. We're gonna erase the pencil lines. They are inside of these two shapes. So we don't get confused okay, and we're gonna use the reminding of this oval shape we have here it's gonna come from this and I'm gonna trace my oval shape up and connect here I think I'm gonna do mine different than the pencil line I don't really like my pencil yeah and that's totally fine like the pencil line is just a guidance but if you find that your picture needs a, an adjustment that's totally okay Good job, perfect. Now we're gonna do the other leg that is in behind. So we're gonna cross like we did with this one. This leg is a little bit more straight. So I'm gonna start here on the inside of the pencil line and I'm gonna go down, doing a novel shape and come back up. Good job. Now we can trace the body. So I'm gonna erase again my lines that are not being used on the inside. Yeah, and now we're gonna trace the line that is uh, left. So I'm gonna trace this line. I'm gonna come down. And then just this one in between the legs. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna uh, draw the leg that is in behind this one and it just look like a little curve. So it's gonna come from here, curve. And the last thing to finish this doggy, what is it? 
The tail. The tail. So we're going to do two curves. The first curve is going to come from here from the end. Curve up. And then the other one curve up. And I want to leave a big space open here. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to come in and up like a long U shape. And I'll come back down. And I connect with this one. Perfect. If we still have pencil lines hanging around, we're going to erase those as well. So I want to pass my eraser one more time. I'm just going to close my marker for now. I'm going to erase all the pencil lines. Good job. And there, that's it. We finished our balloon dog. And now my favorite part is coming. Let's go, Lord. Okay, little artists, we are done. This is how our pictures turn out. At the end, what we did with the color is trace a bunch of oval shapes. So this is going to give the appearance of shiny on the balloon. And then we went with the lighter pink coloring the whole puppy except for the oval shapes. And then with the darker pink, we went to do some shadows. What do you think, Vale? I did great, but accidentally I put the shadows up here, up here. And you can oh, that's okay. Down here. Yeah, that's okay. Your picture looks amazing. I really like what you did. It actually, your picture turned out like it looks like almost painted. And actually, you can you can switch. You can switch the colors, right? Yeah. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Yeah, so you can do yours purple, you can do yours green. Whatever color is your favorite, you can change this balloon dog. So, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss lessons step by step like this one. See you next time. Bye. Bye.